Hey guys, PC Outcast here, back with more of Salty Sarah. And uh, there, there's the book we're gonna need right there. But it's marked as stealing. For 20 seconds, lets you pickpocket an NPC as you bump into them. Let's, uh. No, oh, no, oh dear. I guess you can hear that. Everybody's like, what the hell do you think you're doing? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now, does that have any setting? It does. Options, radius from player. Radius from player, 48, whatever that is. Um, radius from point, 64. Sleight of hand bounty, 150. Pickpocket XP amount, 10. Number of stealable items, 3. Angle increment, 32. Sounds complicated. So, I assume I need to, like, activate that before we go bumping into something. Alright, makes sense. Go ahead. I'm following you. Who's cheating on Vekel? Sounds like Tenelia. You know, you shouldn't cheat on Vekel. What? What did you say, boy? Smack you up the head. I'm still following you. Smack you in your mouth if you talk about me and my sleeping around ways. I assume that's what they're talking about, like cheating in that way. Maybe, maybe she's cheating him out of, uh, cheating him out of, um, I don't know, his cut of the loot or something. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources. No. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. If you break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. What we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Crystal. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a minute. You're not talking about gold, will I? Even our little Vex couldn't get it. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Grignol will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. Since Grignol assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. Well, how do I get my cut of the spoils, then? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tanelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Tell me more about Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay. What's so important about these clients? 
The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. What should I do with Arangoth, then? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. I thought we are not supposed to kill anybody. On this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. How do I destroy the hives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather. But their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not just level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar Meadery, which would cut into her profits. So Maven is the influential client, then. We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, We'd steal the shipments. In return, Maven allowed us to extort Arangoth and bring in a huge pail. How dangerous is it to cross her? Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Rifted without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Okay, give me more details. Golden Glow Estate brought in a mountain of gold for the guild. You could almost call it our sweetest deal. And out of the clear blue, Arangoth stopped sending us our cut. Mercer was, well, angry to put it kindly. So we send in Vex and find out he's hired a bunch of mercenaries to guard the place. Aye. Arangoth sent the city guard packing and fortified the entire island. In fact, Vex barely made it out of there alive. You should talk to her about it before you go. Makes sense. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Right. Okay. So we can go and practice some lockpicking, for example, in here. Right here. So I, I uh, have a mod for this. Money out of it. Nice. I'm kind of hoping. Oh, they do reset. Nice. Okay. I was just about to say. I hope that they reset. Rewards. Empty. Master. Expert. Where's the adept? I bet you that one is supposed to be adept. What is this? Chests are perfect R4 practice use only. Please refrain from using them for storage. Blocks in these chests, on these chests, have been specially to, constructed to reset themselves after a short amount of time. If you have any issues, please speak to Nerun. Expert. That one says empty. Oh, it also says unlock. Oh, this is the adept one. Something wrong with the tooltip. Damn. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a wall. Okay, so we want to talk to Vex. We're gonna need a torch, aren't we? And we can't actually pick torches up, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, yes, yes, good, good. Actually, maybe we'll just go around stealing things from other people's lockers.
What's that over there? Fall from the glory. And what is that? That is nothing. It's just flavor decorations. I guess I could sell the mead too, but I'm not going to bother with that. Is this mine? Thieves Guild Hood. Somebody's got a little bunny. <laughs> and we're back around, I believe. Okay. Good. First of all, Vex, uh, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Okay. Back off, I know the drill. Now you I like. I'm getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. What are we going to do about you it? We can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Okay, you train in lock picking. Uh, heard you in trouble at Golden Glow. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. It's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Any tips? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Um... Hey. Heard you're offering extra work. I handle the burglary, shell, sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking and entering. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up-close and personal jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? Sure. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Steal anything worth talking about? Good. We could use the coin. Shell job? This one angered someone pretty high up in the keep. Can I count on you to get this done for me? Uh, sure. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. Uh, uh, e Stop walking away, girl. Well, you done or what? Good. We could use the coin. Just got a tip on this house. Should be stuffed with loot. Care to head over there and find out? Whatever. Just get it done. Here's the job. I'm on the job. Out with it. Time is money. And? Got more than you can handle. Oh, come on. What the The owner jobs? of this shop stiffed us on their last protection payment. But we're taking it anyway. You want to help us on this one? Fine, just keep it clean. Here you go. Okay. 
And... Mm, where's Delvin? And why is my light flickering like crazy? So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Okay. Good. Then there isn't much Fair to enough. say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. What'll you give me for these? Usual guild rate. Let's take a look at them. So you're selling uh, lock picks. It's good. Um. Here you go. And I should probably give you this. I'm not going to be using that either. I'll give you the extra pair of these. Pickpocketing easier. Rest well, I don't need restoration spells. Poison. Strength is just carrying capacity. I don't want to lose these things. bit of money and um, uh, improved speech. Now I could sell these things if I try and remember to actually use the pickpocketing and stuff. More likely that I'm just going to lose these though. You know what? Here you go. Enjoy. Before we lose that. I hope somebody take now, it. If you'll excuse me. Um, yeah, where's Delvin at? Him. Hey, greet your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? That's about right. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're gonna get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve. I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'll be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dark for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it you straight. Something out there is piss drunk manners. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. What can we do about a curse, though? I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, but we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Okay. You know anything about Golden Glow? Watch yourself out there. The mercenaries are in Goth Hire to train killers. Just ask our poor little Vex. I handle the fishing, numbers, and bedding jobs. The ones with a more personal touch. If breakings are all your feet, Go talk to Vex. Yeah, I'm already doing that. Numbers. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books 
So the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. We all like doing a bit of writing. Sure. Just remember the rules. Keep it clean and keep it quiet. Here's the details. Stop moving away. Come here a second. No. If you ever need more practice with the bow, so, what could I do for you today? I just want more work. Maven wants this mark's most prized possession. The bloody fool carries it on his person all the time. So, we can get angry. Here's everything you need. You get caught, but we've never heard of you. Something troubling you? Yeah? I'll listen. Good. My clients are getting impatient. I always have bedlam jobs. Just remember to hit them fast and don't let them see you. We like going for it? No, that's what I like to hear. Off you go. Okay, now you wanted to speak. A lot of people are beginning to get impressed with you here. <laughs> Me included. Just wanted to let you know. Okay. How did you end up in the guild? I used to live in Thalenwood, working at my father's winery. We made the finest wine to ever cross your lips, I promise you. We were doing well. Plenty of coin, a huge mansion, and I was even betrothed to a lovely young woman. Why would you leave that behind? Because it was dull. Every day was the same boring routine. Working at the winery, social visits with friends, parties with no one I cared about. I just wanted a little excitement. Something dangerous. Like being a thief. I hooked up with a guild in Valenwood. I think they called themselves the Silver Crescents. Spent quite a few years doing jobs for them. Made a lot of coin, but I didn't care. I didn't really need it. I was running with them because it fit. Made me feel alive. How'd you end up in Skyrim, though? Well, after a while, my father caught on to what I was doing. He confronted me one night and gave me a choice. Either leave Valenwood, or he'd have me thrown into jail. Gave me a day to say my goodbyes to everyone. Must have been difficult. I ended up in Skyrim thanks to a contact I'd made when I was with the Crescents. Good old Delvin. He introduced me to Gallus, and that was it. I've been here ever since. And you know what? Despite what I left behind, I don't regret it one bit. Well, congratulations. Do you know anything about golden, golden, I was about to say golden blow. The honey they collect on that hunk of rock goes into making Blackbriar mead. Just about the best tasting mead in all of Skyrim. That's all you know. Okay, great. If you ever need more practice with the bow, just grab it. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. Uh, Solitude, Mark Hearth, Solitude, White Run, Solitude. Solitude. Apparently we should go to Solitude. Although, I am thinking about going to... Over here. Is this pointing me out? Do I, do I get access to the secret way in and out so I don't have to do the long route anymore? That would be nice. Okay. I will take it. Oh. Can't close it. Oops. Yep, can't close it. Okay. I actually have a mod that leaves this open, but I thought I could close it manually. Oh well. Nobody's gonna notice that, right? Er. I'm kind of thinking we go to Markarth and use the uh, pickpocketing potion that we have just in case we get caught and end up in jail and lose it. Might as well make use of it, you know?
carriage is the safest way to travel. Where do you want to go? Ah, the reach. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Climb and back, and we'll be off. City of Markarth, sure is a beauty. No doubt about that. Must be the silver in the air. And the blood. Hmm, this could actually be good. Got this. Already nighttime. And it's, you know, early night too, which is good. It's not like we're arriving here an hour before the sun's gonna rise. Oh, I believe someone may have been murdered. Um, where am I? Where am I going? Take a look at this. Retrieve Cena's silver sapphire necklace from Cena in marker. This is the Yeah, it's the Temple of Debella. Oh, it's her. Okay. Is she going to, um... I kind of think that she's going to recognize... Not recognize me, but notice me as soon as I walk in, right? Yep. The sisters are communing with Debella. They can't be disturbed. You'll have to come back another time. Okay. Flashing through the water over here. All right, let's give this a shot. We'll drink that. I'm just gonna do a regular pickpocket on her, not bumping into her. Think you can steal from me? Damn it. I I need I need that <sighs> Damn it. By the order of the yard. Stop right there. Damn it. <laughs> fine, fine. Um what, I pay you something? No. You look the other way. Ah, here you go. Smart woman. Now come along with us. Take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Well, damn it. That's not good. Yeah, no, that's gonna help me. Game of Fate might not be a bad one to grab. Robber's Eye, when you enter a dwelling you don't own, illuminates a locked container for 120 seconds. During this time, it contains valuable items based on your lockpicking skill and the difficulty of the lock. This can only occur every once every 12 to 60 in-game hours. I'm gonna hold on to that. Well, that was unfortunate. Yes, 
this, we will dry again. Uh, am I going the right way? Oh, I need to go that way. I think that might have been the guy that arrested me. Why don't we try the whole bumping into people thing? Hey, that isn't yours. What did I? It failed, and now I have a bounty. <sighs> you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Seventy-five dollar bounty. Smart woman. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Yeah, I think the whole sleight of hand thing is only going to work when we're substantially better at pickpocketing. We... I didn't realize that you don't... You can't actually choose what you pickpocket when you do that. At least it doesn't seem like it. The sisters are communing with Devella. They can't be disturbed. Okay, great. You'll great. have to come back another time. Yes, yes. Thanks. Oh no you don't! No! I didn't think you had the stomach for it. You coming? The 74% chance. Come on, man. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, now is this actually, oh, it is actually marked as stolen, so we should probably return that. Don't have it stolen back from us by the, uh, or, or I guess liberated by the guards. Unfortunately, I got caught multiple times. Be troubling, yeah? I'll listen. We did the fishing job. Ed, here's the spoils. Bloody more where this came from. Can I get another fishing job? Bloody good timing. Eh. There are all sorts of people wandering around. So, you would just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut and you'll do fine. Let me give you the details. Um, White Run. Okay. Well, we will get to that in the next episode. Thanks very much for joining me, guys. We will see you then.